Hey everybody, welcome to Formula Essentials. My name is Maria Marquis, and in this video, we're going to talk about the user formula. This is one of our most valuable formulas because it allows you to not only make a more personalized experience for the people using your doc, but also completely change the experience on a user by user basis so that everybody gets exactly what they need on their own terms without you having to make page after page after page for every single person on your team. So let's take a look at some of the opportunities that we have. At its most basic level, the user formula just lets us add a little bit of personality. So let's take a look at a doc and see how this can come alive. Here we go, I've got my main welcome page. It says welcome, and that's nice, but it would be better if we had a more personalized experience. So what I could do is, uh, we're so glad you're here equals user. So there's the user formula, and it's automatically going to display whoever's looking at it right now. In this case, it's me. So there we go. We're so glad you're here, Maria Marquis. This is a way for you to just put people's names front and center. Anytime you have a welcome area or anytime you're talking to whoever's using your doc, you just use that user formula and it's going to dynamically change depending on who's looking at it at any given time. I'm looking at it, so it says my name. If you were looking at it, it would say your name. So that's all well and good, but this gets really powerful when we start to connect it to the other building blocks inside of Coda. So let's go ahead and uh, add a table here. So I'm going to add a voting table. This is one of my favorite Coda templates because it's something I use in literally every single meeting where I'm trying to crowdsource ideas. And this actually has the user formula already built in to this particular button. So we can go ahead and right click this button. Let's open it up, see what's going on here. And what we could do is for the topic voting, we can have this automatically be assigned here so that the author is equal to the user. So now whoever clicks this button, their name is going to be populated right here. So notice, I'm going to click add topic. There it is, Maria Marquis automatically added right into that particular field. Now, if you were to use this, it would show your particular name there. So it's a way for us to just bring in the people side of all of our work together automatically without anybody needing to do anything specific. So we have a way to pull in user information. But what about having our data respond to whoever's looking at it? For example, over here along the side, we've got our big task table, right, with all of the information of what's going on here. We also have who they are assigned to. What we can do is we can create a filter that automatically shows only the tasks for whoever's looking at it. So let's go ahead, click on filter right over here. We're going to choose to add a filter. And in this case, we're going to have assigned to be the current user. So this is actually the user formula happening behind the scenes. We've just made it a little bit easier for you to work on it here. But if you ever want to take a look at the formula happening behind the scenes, you just click dot, 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 choose show formula. And notice we're having assigned to contains the user. So now let's go ahead and just remove this other one here. Notice this is only showing me my tasks. But if you were to look at this, it would only show you your tasks. So now what we could do is we could just call this whole page my tasks. And then everybody who joins our doc, we say, hey, all of the things you need to work on are in the my tasks area. So we don't have to have a view for every single person on the team, although we could. We just have this dynamically generated view powered by that user formula. So the user formula allows for personalization, customization, and completely unique experiences for every person on your team. Go ahead, give it a try, and I'll see you next time.